Good morning, dear students. How are you? I hope you are fine today. Today we are going to take chapter five from the story. So please get your storybook because I will start to read and then we are going to start with the presentation. So please get the book and come back to me. So open your books, page 20. It's chapter five. I will start to read it for you and try to explain things you maybe will help you to understand it. Alice walked for a while and then saw the marsh hare house. It was a large house with the chimneys in the shape of an ears of ears and with fur on the roof. If you please check in picture 21, you will find the house and the two chimneys that looks like an ears with fur on the roof. Then Alice ate a bit of the mushroom in her left hand and she grew a little taller. But even then, she felt afraid as she was walking towards the house. What if the marsh hare is completely mad? She wondered. The marsh hare and the hater were having tea together under a tree in front of the house. A dormouse was fast asleep between them and they used it as a cushion for their elbows. Okay, so like this here, the elbows and you put Sorry, they put their elbows on the mouse. So the table was very large, but the three of them sat crowded together at one corner only, as it's shown in front of you down. No room, no room, they cried out when they saw Alice. There's a lot of room, Alice said angrily, and she sat in a large arm chair. It's very polite to sit at our table uninvited, said the marsh hare. It isn't your table, said Alice. This table is set for many, not just three. The hater looked at her with curiously, sorry, curiosity. Your hair needs cutting, he said. That was very rude, that was very rude, she said to the hatter. You mustn't say things like that. The hatter opened his eyes wide, but, as, but all he said was, Why is a raven like a writing desk? I can guess that, Alice said, thinking that now finally she would have some fun. Do you mean you can find the answer? said the marsh hare. Exactly, replied Alice. Then, you should say, what do you mean? The marsh hare went on. I do. At least I mean what I say. That's the same thing you know, said Alice. Please turn the page on page 22. No, it isn't. No, at all, said the hatter. It's like saying that. I see what I eat is the same as I eat what I see. It's like saying that I, I like what I get in the same as I get what I like, said the marsh hare. And it's like saying that I breathe when I sleep in the same as I sleep when I breathe, said the dormouse in his sleep. And then everyone fell silent for a while. What are they saying? What of the what day of the month is it? asked the hatter, looking at his watch and holding it in his ear. Oh dear, what a funny watch, Alice said. It tells the day of the month and not the time. Why not? said the hatter. Don't your watch tell you what year is it? Of course not, said Alice. But that's because it stays the same year for a long time. So have you found the answer to the riddle yet? The hatter said, turning to Alice. No, I give up. What's the answer? He asked. I have no idea, said the hatter. I don't either. Sorry, I don't either, said the marsh hare. I don't believe you. Alice said you are just wasting time asking question with no answer. No, oh, I'm trying, sorry, I'm tired of this discussion. 
the marsh hare said and began to yam. Why don't you tell us a story? He said to Alice. I'm afraid I don't know one, Alice said. Then the door house, sorry, the door mouse, well, they both cried, Wake up, door mouse! I wasn't asleep, the door mouse said. I've heard every word you said. Tell us a story, said the marsh hare. You, yes, please do, said Alice and sat back to listen. And that was for chapter 5 from the story. Please let's check the presentation with you. Chapter 5, and I will start with the next slide, the main points. Alice walked and met the marsh hare and the hatter's house. Marsh hare and hatter have watched tells them the year, not the hours as normal watches. They ask Dormouse to tell them a story about three sisters. And those were the main points. Let's check now the questions with its answer. Number one, describe the marsh hare house. So the answer, it was a large house with chimneys in a shape of ears with fur on the roof. Number two, no room, no room. Comment, we said before, comment. Who said these words? To whom and why or where or when? So these words were said by Marsha and Hatter to Alice when they saw her for the first time in the garden of the house. The next question, I wasn't asleep. I have heard every word you said. Also comment. These words were said by the Dormouse to Hatter and Marsha when they shouted asking the Dormouse to tell them a story. Next slide, please. Number four, the watch of Hatter is different. To explain, I ask you to answer, answer with why. Because it told the day, the month, not time like the normal watches. Then with the complete questions, number one, they wanted the Dormouse to tell them a story. So, tell them a story, that's the answer. Dormouse slept between Hatter and Marsh Hare. They used it as a, for their elbows, as a cushion. Number three, the watch of Hatter told him the day and the month. The next one is to thank you very much for listening to me well. I hope you understand. See you in the next chapter. Bye-bye.